Hey Justin, it's Scott Walker. I uh, just sending you this video to show you those tips and tricks I was talking to you about earlier today. Um, the first thing I want to start with is content. And the reason I start with content is usually, um, you know, most companies, they don't understand that Google, the more content you have on your homepage, the more of an authority they see you in their eyes. And content is anywhere you have words, pictures, videos, um, but you also want to have keywords enriched inside that content. And just for an example, uh, you're looking, your web, this right here is SEO Quakes. It's an extension I use. You're looking at 110 words total on your homepage. Usually Google wants to see um, 1,500 to 2,000 words on a homepage to really be considered an authority. Um, but you also want to have keywords inside of that homepage as well. So like right here, um, if you were to save this image, it does say the jcplumbing.com HTML, but I think that's just the banner for it. But if you were to save any images as keywords, like, and especially for an example, uh, you know, like plumbing Logan, because that's where you're located, um, that is a buyer intent keyword. And that is uh, anything someone might type into Google searching for a particular service or product. So if you save those in your images, if you have them embedded in the content, you know, just the regular content of your um, homepage, that's how you get ranked in uh, Google. Start to see online leads coming your way. Um, looking here, your number one competitor for Plumbing Logan is Roto Rooter. I know they are a national company, but they are your number one competitor in your area. So. This right here is showing that, you know, they only have 710 keywords or excuse me, words on their page in general. So if you just up that content um, with those keywords, uh, you would start ranking above them in Google. The other thing I wanted to talk about is usually up here, there's some uh, Google guarantees and some ads, which you can run if you would like to more presence on this Google page. Um, and then you have the Google Map Pack or Google Business Profile. And this is where about 40% of online searchers stop because Google trusts these companies and that's good good enough for most people. So if you're not up here and you're not up in the ads section, you're lo losing out on quite a bit of uh, online traffic. Then of course you want to, you know, rank down here in uh, the organics and that would put your company all over the front page of uh, this particular keyword in Google, which, you know, drives quite a bit of traffic to your website. Uh, the next thing I want to go over are backlinks, and a backlink is a clickable text that is from one website to another, and these links act like an endorsement of your website from others, which Google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you. It's a giant popularity contest where the person with the most URLs pointing to their website wins. But remember, not all backlinks are the same. Uh, they're not all created equal by any means. So staying uh, industry relevant and also local websites are the best um, sources of backlinks. And this is a paid tool I use. It's called Arifs. If you were to implement this strategy, you wouldn't need this tool. It's just something I use for tracking and other features for my work. Um, but the things I want to bring your attention to are, you know, your UR rating, your DR rating, backlinks, and referring domains. The UR rating is the strength of your UR. The DR rating is the strength of your backlink. So this is that popularity I'm I'm talking about. Um, and so you only have two backlinks and two referring domains. Whereas your competitors, like I said, this is a national company. They are very popular. The strength of their URL is not very strong, but they are very popular in Google's eyes. They have tons and tons of backlinks and, and lots of referring domains, but Obviously, I can't compare you to the whole company as a whole, but even if you were to get part of their online traffic, usually if you get about, just for an example, about a thousand people to your website, 10% of them would be buyer intent. And so if you get a thousand people to your website, a hundred people are ready to purchase a product or service you have. And then usually, I, I mean, in this industry, 30 to 50% is a pretty good conversion rate. So you're looking at, you know, 30 to 50 new clients each and every month. And I don't know what your margins are, but you know, that could create some pretty impressive revenue if you have. So this is what I do for a living and I'm creating this video for you to help you start generating leads on leads online. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, um, concerns, anything like that. 
Or what we could do is talk about your goals and I could do some research to find out exactly what could be realistic for your business and what it might take to reach those goals. All I ask is if this video is helpful to leave me a line of feedback. Again, my name is Scott Walker. Feel free to reach out as my door is always open. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helps you generate online business. Have a great day.